hang on. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, you've probably seen this look on my Instagram and on other platforms, maybe on shorts um, in YouTube and a lot of you loved this look so here's a tutorial on how to achieve this look not complicated it's for people who are terrible at blending eyeshadows and eyeshadow looks because i'm one of you and this is an easy way of getting a smoky eye and i really hope that you love this look and it's easy enough for you to try let me know if it works in the comments below and let's get into the video but just look down below see if you subscribed if you're not Click that red button, subscribe to my channel and help me grow this family. Now let's not keep you guys waiting and let's move on to the video on how to get this look. I've already prepped my skin with toner, foundation and um, sunscreen. And now we're going to go with the foundation. I use the MAC foundation. With a damp beauty sponge, I'm going to blend the foundation into my skin. When you apply your foundation, like, uh, do one section and then dot the next if you dot your entire face and then start spreading it um, the other areas they kind of stay and um, hold on to the skin and they become a lot more difficult to blend so do the dotting also in sections now that the foundation is done we are going to move on to applying the concealer I'm using the Maybelline concealer here Apply it in any shape that you want, it's, it doesn't really matter. Also apply it uh, to your forehead, wherever you want a little brightness. So your concealer is usually like a shade lighter. I like to go with a lighter shade than my skin tone, very little, shouldn't be like a drastic difference but just a tad bit lighter than your normal skin complexion so it brightens up your face. Now that everything is beautifully blended in, we are going to set the whole face with powder. Also dab and press the powder into your under eye. You don't have to carve it out. Um, you don't have to bake your under eye. I like to just press the powder and then take off the excess. Um, so the next few steps I'm going to stick um, to whatever I do with this palette which is the Wet n Wild palette. Um, so in this I get my eyebrows done, I get my contour done, um, sometimes my eyeshadow. So we're going to stick to whatever we get from this palette, we're going to do it right away. So first we're doing the eyebrows. This is an eyeshadow palette. If you've seen my previous video, I've talked about how this is like a investment and it works for everything. I'm mixing the brown and the black because my hair is more brunette and the brown is too light for me. So I'll be mixing those two shades and filling in my brows. Next is contouring. So I'm going to take the brown shade with my finger and carve it out like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And whatever's left over on my finger, I'm just going to draw two lines on my nose. It's just not a waste of product. With this brush, I'm blending it upward. we're done with the contouring next is blush we're finishing up all the other uh, procedures and uh, application before we move into the eyes opened we always have this issue don't we I'm just going to dab and blend it out Now comes the smoky eye, so we'll get started with that. So what you need are um, this brush that I'm using. It's a flat brush. 
it's not focusing but you know you get it it's flat and I'm using Faces Canada Magnet Eyes because it's very blendable don't use um, cold pencils that like dry out very fast because we are blending them out this also dries out fast but it's comparatively a little slower apply it uh, to your lash line doesn't have to be perfect at all and go crazy applying it and then immediately start dabbing and blending it out upward just make sure that you end at the crease do not take it above the crease so just to stay on the safer side you can uh, stop a little before your crease you know ends just to stay on the safe zone apply again and blend it out but this time stop a little below where we blended out the first time so this is going to give a very ombre effect last time does not have to be perfect at all that's the best part about this look we're going to do the same on the other side repeat round two round three like that once we're done with that whole part of smudging the cold pencil uh, we're gonna use the eyeshadow now like you know the cardinal rule of makeup where powder sets uh, makeup in place uh, with that's what the eyeshadow does as well there are two benefits to doing this with the eyeshadow one is uh, it gives a longer staying power and two is it sets the cold smudge in place take black and just tap that not to your crease just to the base we're gonna do the same on the other side so it's going to darken the, you know, the one close to your lash line and then it's going to fade as it goes up. Now comes blending everything out. So now we have a harsh line of black on our crease. So we're going to smudge everything out with a transition shade. Um, this is like very close to my skin shade. So um, I'm going to start with that and start blending it and then I'm going to use the brown and again dab that blending it out so it gives a very soft look doing the same on the other eye transition shade brown and now it's softer it just blends out seamlessly next is eyeliner so we're gonna do a wing um, and connect it to the inner lash line So we have a nice wing to the side this is the toughest bit <laughs> getting the same wing on the other side uh, I'm aiming to get them as sisters and not twins hopefully it works like that talking while doing this was a very bad idea excuse me if I'm making like funny faces why am I still talking? It's messing it up. 
Okay, so we have a wing on the other side. Um, they're definitely not <laughs> twins. Um, sisters, maybe if they were born like 10 years apart. So I'm going to make them look a little more even. Yep. And we're done. I'm going to finish, you know, get everything together with falsies. Um, again, I think this is the most dreaded part of makeup. I hate doing this. It's so complicated and messy and doesn't work all the time. Just applying glue to my lash line and to the falsies. So this acts like a magnet and it's easier for it to stick. With tweezers. Oh, okay. They're stuck. They stuck. That's a first. It's never this easy. Now, let's hope it's as easy on the other side. This was easier than the first one. Now that we have the falsies on, um, the smoky eye is done. We have a beautiful transition. We have uh, a wing. We have the lashes. You can add mascara if you want. I'm not a fan of mascara because uh, they've been damaging my natural lashes a lot and I don't want to lose my natural lashes. Falsies, I know the glue is really bad for you, but for like these looks, I like to add a little bit of this. I don't add it to my lash line. I add it a little above, so the damage is hopefully less. Now we gotta apply lipstick. So I'm taking, this is the Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade 8. Oh, it has a name. Sensationally Me, if you're interested in this lip color. It's a very nude pink. Not a nude brown, a nude pink. And my favorite thing, highlighter. This is the iconic London highlighter. I like to kind of spread these. Um, I take like a dot of product, uh, spread it and then apply because this one, if you apply directly, what happens is you get like a line of highlighter and it's very visible that it's a harsh line and I don't like that. Um, so I like to, you know, take a bit of the highlighter, do that rub it between my fingers and then just spread it for my nose whoop and whoop and we're gonna blend that out and this is the final look it was very simple straightforward um, not a lot of complicated steps easy to understand so I'm terrible at eyeshadow and blending eyeshadow um, there have been times where I've attempted smoky eye and I ended up looking like a panda um, this is something that worked for me and it's very easy very straightforward not too complicated and I really hope this helps you and you can also achieve the smoky eye if you've had previous failures trying smoky eye and ending up looking like a panda so try this look I hope you liked it and I'll see you with my next video. Bye!